Hello, and welcome back to the Sword Realm. So, we got the Copper Broadsword last time. Since I barely can travel uh, right now at my level, I will skip uh, the Boreal and Palmwood for now. And then go to Mahogany and the Cactus Sword. Which we already have the mahogany needed to make the mahogany sword. Well, in a few seconds here, when it becomes daytime, we can go to the uh, desert and get some cactus for the cactus sword. This little series here that I've, I'm making is definitely uh, pretty damn hard. Especially because I haven't played Terraria in almost a year and the last I've played Terraria was uh, T-Mod, the modded version of Terraria. I played Calamity. Alright, now, uh, since we have the cactus, we can make the lead short sword, uh, and then go to the ebon wood uh, sword. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. It's a little, a little bit of an upgrade. Very cool, very cool. Now we need ebon wood. Oh boy. That means we're gonna have to go into the danger zone. <laughs> and pick up some wood on there. If there is any. Which I'm hoping. Uh, if it's all desert, however, I might be kind of screwed. Alright, so the next two are tungsten and gold. In that order, so we need to get... Tungsten first. I might have enough for a short sword already. Which would be fantastic. So we're done with tungsten. Now we need to actually get more gold. Unless I can make a gold short sword now. Alright, so I can make a gold short, short sword. Which is an upgrade. Very cool. Um... And then, so I put the sh ebon wood in there. So now I have the gold short sword, which is a little bit more melee damage. A little bit. And then I can make the lead broad sword, which I don't think I have enough to make the lead broad sword. Do I? Yes, I do. I can't, I have to fill the, uh, a, one chest with all the shit I have right now. So, I'm okay with, you know, having them in my inventory. As long as I have one of each, uh, that is a-okay. If I sell one, I have to go, go to the one behind that. So, if, like, say, if, if I have all these, and I sell, I don't know which, like, if I just sell, like, the copper rod sword, I have to go back to the wooden sword. And wait until I get half. Uh, well, wait until I get the copper rod swords. I also need to kill a bunch of zombies because after this is the bladed glove, which is gonna be an ass to get. All right. Um. I thought you could get the bladed gloves whenever, but apparently that's only in October and November. So we have to get the. Tungsten broadsword, the zombie arm, and then the golden broadsword. Yeah, I know, this is a pussy way of doing it. I get to sit here and just relax while zombies come to me and give me a fucking one in a million chance of dropping the thing I need. I'm just hoping it isn't something stupid, like I have to actually wait until like a blood moon or something to actually get it. I'm gonna be here a while. Oh, another rule. I know this is, you know, third episode. Why am I putting new rules in it? Um, but I can use other melee weapons, but I still have to get the swords. So if I get, like, you know, the mace, then I can use the mace. But... I still have to get uh, the swords. That's my primary objective. I need more gold and lead and shit like that. 
Well, I, I don't think I need lead anymore. But I do need tungsten and gold. Oh shit! Yo! That's good. Very cool. Traveling merchant has arrived. Sheesh. Do you have anything good to offer me? That's within my price range. No, not really. Yeah, okay. Now I can get the piggy bank. Very cool. Yeah, tungsten can mine meteorite, which I might get. I think I am A-OK -okay with making it. I'll also do this tungsten axe as well. And a copper hammer. Very cool. Now I can just sell the old shit off to this guy. Oh, shit, lava. Look at that. And I think I just made obsidian accidentally. Cool. Oh. This is... Yeah. I... Don't want to go there. Oh shit, dude. This is a pretty good find. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't... Oh. But that's pretty fucking tempting. Another one of you fuckers? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Negates fall damage? That's pretty good. Magic. Damn it. Although I have cool chandelier now. <laughs> Can't use this, so we gotta sell that. Sell that. <sighs> Oh, I can make the golden broadsword. I wouldn't be able to use the broadsword just yet. So I'll make it, but I can't use it for now. Unless I get the uh, zombie arm. Alright, are you selling anything worthwhile? Mystic rope. Magic damage and reduce... Yeah, no, I don't use that. Cool. Also, life form analyzers. Neat. That's the only thing that's really neat, but I can't really get it right now. Because I don't have the money. Unless I sell a bunch of shit. Yeah, what's in this? Ruby and diamond. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, buddy. Want some ruby and diamond? I'll sell, I'll sell the rubies at least. And that'll get me the life farm analyzer. Thanks, bud. Cool. So I can see rare creatures now, at least. So if I'm looking for something, I can just spot it out with that. I don't know if I need diamond for anything, but I know it's valuable. All right. So, I think that's it for today. We definitely got uh somewhere, at least. We're almost halfway done with uh, pre-hard mode. And I know I have to get the uh, four swords that make uh, the Knight's Edge. Which sucks, because I have to re-get them to actually use the Knight's Edge. So I have to get them twice in order to use the Knight's Edge. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> but other than that, uh, I'm doing pretty well for myself. I got uh, to both the golden uh, lead broadsword. I just need to get the uh, zombie hand or whatever. And... Uh, then I can try getting the mandible and whatnot. I already have the golden broadsword, so... Yeah, we made some progress today. If you like this episode, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and leave a like. It definitely means a lot to me. Till next time.